Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in at 65.9 kilograms and trained under Lamel Ruistro out of Luistro Combat Academy with an amateur record of two wins for three defeats. Please welcome Kane Rikas. And introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 65.9 kilograms and trains under Oliver Barley and Rodrigo Garados out of Bravos MMA and the LLC with an undefeated amateur record of two wins for zero defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Julian Gladius Justiniano. It won't matter, ladies and gentlemen. Round one is oh. underway. Kane Rickus, a right hand lands flush. But Gladius, that wrestling background, he resorts to early on here tonight. Gladius just walking forward, no head in the ring, just eight those punches and went straight for the body cleans. This is the spot where I think he wants to be. He does want to be here, Carl Moog. Once again, this matchup proudly brought to you by our friends at proper number 12, Irish Whiskey. Relentless pressure from Gladius early in round number one. Yeah, Kane Rick is doing an awesome job, though, stopping him from changing levels there. He had a nice over here. But, but Julian, just too much. So we're going to see those wrestlers really take overs on the ground here. You can nullify a lot of good jiu-jitsu with great wrestling. Indeed you can, and you talk about great wrestling, great wrestlers. You saw Gladius enter the cage with a forward roll into a kip-up. When you talk about athleticism, he has it all. Oh, my goodness, I was so shocked. Could you do that, Carl Noak, in your prime? No, I couldn't do it. I'm pretty sure I've seen you do it before, though, team. Definitely not. Back to the action here. It's all about Gladius. He had a few shots early on in round number one as we approach the halfway mark of this round, and he is just wary on Kane Rickus as it stands. Rickus is still in this fight. Fight. He is, and this is what I'm talking about, this grinding effect from these wrestlers. They get in there and they cook you. They make you work. He seems comfortable. He seems relaxed. Talking to the ref there. He looks to try and take the back. Drag that leg he's, uh, out, trying to indicate that Kane's grabbing his glove. Mike Wynn not so easily deceived. Yes. <laughs> and again, he goes down again. Great defense by Rickus is... <laughs> He's got to watch those shots to the back of the head there, though, does Gladius. Gladius is a little bit too excited there, but doing a great job nonetheless. And, you know, Kane Rickus is also doing a good job of nullifying a lot of that wrestling. You know, it's, it's hard to pick up, but there's, there's little things that he's doing well. Like he's, getting, he's getting back to his feet well. He's looking for overhooks good. This is it, man. Rickus is going to come for a takedown of his own there for a second. Well, there you go. He's back to his feet, and rightly so. You saw the passion on the face of Ramel Ramel Ruistro, but he goes down again. And Gladius just not letting up here in round number one. No, he's doing an awesome job of keeping that pressure on. Again, looks to go to the mount and take the back. Get those hooks in. Beautiful one. It's a great position out here to really unload some heavy ground and pound as well. Looks like that reason. That looks pretty tight there, T. That is tight. It's a tough spot for Kane Rickus, but he does manage to escape for now. Julian gets that look for that rear naked again. He's just doing a great job of floating around on top of him. Wrestlers always put their body in the best position. He's for health professionals Australia wide. Mike Wynn signals us underway for round number two. And Julian straight back in his face again with that pressure. Oh, yes. the ankle pick yes. now. What? Beautiful connection, Julian. Yeah. Nice takedown. Yeah. Yeah. Control those legs, doing a beautiful job of tabletop of them legs. Once again, transition to the back. Drag him down, Julian. He's dragging him to the ground again. We're really seeing that wrestling on display right now. Any time Kane defends, and he is defending quite well, Gladius, he just he offers too many problems. It's, it's, that, it's that pedigree, that wrestling part. It's too much. He does. Every time that Kane gets into a good position where he thinks he may be able to get up, Julian just switches it up on him and just transitions to something else. Nice. So he's keeping looking for that really naked choke. 
That is just pure strength from Gleddy. What's bad is he's just like a neck crank and a charge at the same time. It's very uncomfortable. He looks like he might have to get the charge in here as well. Now he gets posture up now. He's a heavy ground pound. He has to be careful in this position. Back, 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 back. Open him up. Open him up. Julian just fighting very up. well on top there. Yes. Yes. Let's be careful. Hit the back of the head there. I don't think we have to take too much of that. Well, yeah, I was just going to say that, Carl, especially at this level. Mike Wynn, not going to, he's giving him a warning now. Not going to tolerate that at all. He's got to pick his shots. Yeah, it's very, sometimes it's very hard to strike from the back when you're on someone's back like that. When they try to tuck their head and they tuck into their shoulder, it's hard to sort of find that real estate, I guess, to land a punch. Oh, absolutely. I mean, especially if, if Rickers has got to turtle up, it's, it's almost to his own demise. Yeah, he's flattened out here. Yeah, Julian able to flatten it right out here. He's going to make that choke come on. He may have the tap here. He's tap. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, our referee, Matt Wynn, has called a stop to this fight at 2 minutes 11 seconds of round number two. Declaring your winner by submission due to a rear naked choke in the round.